What's up, DC? Welcome back. Are you ready for a phenomenal school year? My name's Max. And my name's Max. We'll be some of your news anchors for this semester. It's when, it's Monday, August 15th, 2016, which is National Relaxation Day. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the news. Congratulations to Daniel Loves as he shot 69 at Kenny Perry's Country Creek on Saturday to win his first high school tournament. The team finished fifth with a score of 315. Nice job. Congratulations to the students who participated in the National Judicial Competition in Chicago this month as a part of DC's Y Club. Jasmine Post, Max Smith with an honorable mention, and Stephen Ward with a crystal gavel in second place. These three were selected as a part of the 10-person Kentucky team for KYA and CUNA. Congratulations to the DCHS archery team as they were named national champs over the summer. And also over the summer, the DC academic team also earned the title of national champions. Speaking of smart kids, any student interested in participating on the DC academic team should attend a brief organizational meeting Thursday after school in Ms. Koshy's room, 226. If you can't attend, see Mr. Hayden, room 170, Mr. Easley, 213, Ms. Shafisi 201 or Ms. Koshi 226. Attention 2015-2016 foods and nutrition students. Anyone interested in cooks around the world need to stop by Ms. Selby's room for more information. If you're participating, you must attend the informational meeting next Monday, August 22nd. Attention all Mr. Norris's art students from last spring semester. You need to pick up your artwork by this Friday or it will be given or thrown away. Attention class of 2020, there will be a Y Club meeting this Wednesday for anyone wanting to learn more about the club. If you attend a KYA or CUNA in middle school, go to room 213 at 330 this Wednesday. If you can't attend, please see Mr. Steve Easley in room 213. Now stay tuned for a word from our principals. Hi students, I uh, just want to let you know my name is Mr. Powers. For those of you that don't know, I want to welcome you back to uh, Davis County High School this year. Hope that you have a great year. Uh, of course, we are here to make sure that we have a safe, orderly uh, environment here at Davis County High School. We're going to do whatever we have to do to make sure that happens, and, and we need your help with that. So I just wanted to refer to the uh, agenda book. Uh, I want to talk to you about a few items today, and uh, you'll be hearing some of these uh, throughout your advocate time. Uh, within the next week or two probably. So any questions or concerns, please always come to me, ask me. Um, I want to have an open line of communication with you. And uh, if there's anything I can do to make sure that your year goes better, uh, please let me know because that's why I'm here. We care about you guys. We want you to have a great year, both academically and behaviorally. So uh, it's all a learning process and, and we're, we're here to help you. So if you would, uh, if you have your agenda books, I am starting on uh, page 28 and 29. I uh, just want to talk about a few of the discipline uh, policies that we have. Uh, one on page 28, make sure that you not wear hats at school. We do not allow hats, uh, sock caps uh, in school. You can wear them before and after school, but when the bell rings to start school, we do not wear hats. So just work with us on that, please. Um, shirts and tops, make sure that you have your shoulders covered. We do not wear sleeveless garments. Make sure that you have a sleeve on the garment that covers the shoulder. Um, with the shorts and skirts, for girls particularly, uh, make sure that you have the garment has to be at least one inch past fingertip length. So your arms would be normally just hanging down like normal and then the garment would have to go one inch past your fingertip length. Now with the running shorts, sometimes those are too short, uh, especially if they might be okay in the front, but sometimes they go up on the side and they have to be the same length all the way around as far as that one inch barrier that we we talk about for the garment so make sure that you have that skirts are the same way just make sure that they're long enough um, you know if you have an issue with the dress code we'll work with you here the first few days we want to talk to you about it we'll give you a warning but then after that it's you know you do lose an exam exemption so make sure that you are in dress code if you have a question about that you're not sure please ask us before you wear it. That way you don't get in trouble. With the pants, um, with the leggings, crop leggings, jeggings, yoga pants, compression pants, uh, sometimes we see that more in the fall and the winter with girls uh, like to wear those. Those are fine to wear. Just make sure that you have something that's covering your bottom and side 
and front area. It's got to be the same length all the way around. It can't come high low on the side, can't be short in the front and then long in the back. It has to cover your bottom and be all the way around covering you. Uh, now, they make shirts that I think nowadays that, that help with that. Uh, sometimes people wear jackets. It's, it doesn't matter as long as you are covered. You can wear the pants, you can wear something over the pants as long as you are covered. So work with us on that please. No sleepwear. We do not wear pajamas at school. Obviously, uh, swimwear, uh, not allowed. Offensive clothing. Uh, anything that would be deemed offensive to anyone, uh, we do not wear. Whether it's a slogan or something on a t-shirt or something, that, an emblem that might be offensive, please uh, work with us. Don't wear those to school. We do not uh, need um, people getting upset with each other or tensions uh, because of that. So. Um, coats and, and uh, book bags. Make sure that you, if you, you're wearing, you can have a book bag at school, we just need it to be mesh. Uh, if you do not have a mesh backpack, then you need to make sure you put it in your locker when you come to school and then uh, go to your locker. Uh, between classes, whatever, you can get it after school. That's fine, but uh, help us with that on the book bags. Hey, Davis County. Smile, it's great to be a Panther. Hey, this is Mr. Blue. I want to explain a little bit about uh, parking. Uh, currently, right now, our parking is absolutely awful. I'll be the first to admit on that. It's only for juniors and seniors only. That's the only uh, students are able to drive. You have to have a parking permit, $5 parking permit. You have to have a legal driver's license. And then you have to have your school fees paid for. If you have all those, then you can get a parking permit. Uh, I'm, I'm, and I'm going to be honest with you, I hope we do not run out of parking spots, but um, I'm not going to lie to you. It, it's a possibility. We just simply do not have enough parking spots. So whenever you have those uh, items completed, please come down and see Miss Borman in Student Services and uh, she can get you fixed up. Make sure that you park in a valid parking spot where it's not marked off by yellow lines. Make sure you don't park on the grass or any of that kind of stuff. If you do, you could get a DM detention. Don't want to see that happen because if you do, then you lose that all-important exam exemption. Uh, also, all this information can be found in your agenda book on page 36, and you're welcome to check that out. Thank you for your time. And finally, here's what's going on today at D.C. There's no CCR today. Girls golf is taking on Hancock County at 4 p.m. at Ben Hawes. And boys soccer is traveling to take on North Harden with the JV game at 5.30 and the varsity game at 7. And that's all your news for today, D.C. Bye. You just give them what it is.